In this tutorial, we're going to continue working with strings and we're going to have a look at the length method. We're still using the same basic GUI design where we've got a start button called BTN start. So under our properties, we've got a start text and up the top we've called it BTN start. You'll notice that I've unpinned the properties panel, also the toolbox. So I've got more work area, especially when I'm coding. So when we click that button on the button start dot click, you'll come into here. I've got a comment at the top. One of the first things we're going to do is dim variable, and we're just going to use s username, and that's going to be a string. What we want to do is let s username equal. Now you notice as I push s and u, I then push the space bar, which then writes it for me from from the TeleSense, which gives us a nice drop down list. And what I want it to equal to, and I'm going to set the username at the moment, and I'm just going to put Marsden. Now we know that this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters. So it's got seven chars in it, because each one of those characters come together to make a string. So what we can actually do is get the computer to result the length of those string. So we're just going to go debug dot right line and we want to actually output s username. So this should give us the actual contents of the variable, which is Marsden. So let's just check this. So we're just going to hit save and run. When I click start in our output window here, we just got Marsden. So the output tab and the output window. Now, if you can't see this, you should be able to go up to the view panel and in the view panel, you should have output or control alt O will give you the output panel. So this is only for developers. Once you've done that, you can click back and stop the program. So what we actually have is the contents being given out, but we can actually work out the length of the string. So we can actually debug dot s username and then use what's called a method, which is using the dot and we can put the length in there. So this now will look at the s username and use the method length and output the length of the string. So rather than seeing the word, we should actually see a number seven. So we can now actually see that this has seven characters. We manually counted it before. So if I wanted to, I could put the length of, and then put a quote, and s username, and quote space so we're using some concatenation here so this put a space there and s username so it should put marsden then it will join this on with a space is and then we close it with a quote then we can use the end and the username dot length and space um, letters long so now we have a concatenated output, which will give us some details of the word that we've got here. So the length of Marsden is seven letters long. So let's quickly make our program a little bit more dynamic and actually change this to say is equal to input box bracket enter username comma comma and we'll have Marsden as the default input. So when we run the program now, we'll get an alert or a prompt box. Enter username, it's got default master, we'll change that. This is my user, my username. And when I click on OK, the length of this is my username is 28 letters long. So it actually counted all the spaces as well as any characters that we put in there. So this is a very good way of actually working with our program and getting the information. Now, if we wanted to, we could turn this into a password checker and we can say if s username dot length is, well, let's go less than six characters, then, so if it is less than six characters, then uh, message box username, username is too short. Otherwise, we can put an else statement in, message box, username is correct length. So let's run the program now. 
we'll hit start, we'll enter in a name, we know this is seven characters long, so it should give us the username is the correct length. We can see down here at seven, so I go start again, I'll put in hello, username is too short, and you notice that hello is five letters long. So we can use that to actually help us ensure that the username is the correct length. Now if the username has to be a particular length, say eight characters long, you can use a sub method. So dot length is a method and we can also use dot equals and then we can actually put equals say eight. So we've got to use a bracket for this and eight. If it is eight, then it's the correct one. So I'll move this up to here. And if it's not correct, username is not correct or not the correct length. So they have to enter it in eight characters and therefore if it is eight characters then it'll do the true part. If it's not eight characters, so if it's below or above, it'll then do the else part. Let's have a look at this program. So we'll enter in eight characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's an easy way of getting eight characters. Click on OK. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is eight letters. Your username is correct length. So let's do it again and just put one, two, three. Username is not the correct length. So that is another way we can actually use a method and a subpart of a method which is equals. So in this tutorial we've looked at how we can use a string, look at its length and how we can use the length to our advantage. Also how we can result the length of a string. And also once again we looked at some concatenation and internal comments as we went along. So I hope this helps you better understand strings and some of the more complex things we can do with them.